Hi, this is Maggie. In this video, we're going to write some programs using Python's Turtle Graphics module. The Turtle Graphics module is a great way to begin writing programs and get introduced to the important concepts of program state and flow of control. If you haven't already watched the video, How Do I Write a Script or Program in Python? I suggest you watch that video first and then return here. Recall that idle has two modes, immediate mode and script mode. You can execute turtle commands in immediate mode, but we're going to write a script because that will allow us to write many lines of code at once, make small or large changes, and execute them as many times as we want. So from the idle console, we go to the file menu and choose new file, and we get a window which is a script window. Now, we're going to save our file immediately. So you want to be very careful not to save your script with a name that is used by Python. So I'm going to suggest a name for you. Let's call this turtle underscore stuff. Do not call any program turtle because if you do that, you will basically be hiding the turtle graphics module from Python. If you accidentally call a program turtle, quit Python and restart it and give your program a different name. So now that we've saved turtlestuff.py, let's write a turtle graphics program. At the top of this file, write import turtle. Notice that import turns orange if you type it correctly. The turtle module is a separate module from Python's built-in commands, so we need to import it to use it. Now let's just write a quick program so we can see what turtle graphics looks like. On the next line, write turtle.forward open paren 100 close paren. Now if we save our program and run it, by choosing Run Module from the Run menu, we see a new window come up, the Turtle Graphics window, and we see an arrowhead draw a straight line across the screen. That arrowhead is the turtle, and you can actually change its shape to be turtle-shaped. For now, let's focus on what we can learn about programming from working with the turtle. Then you can experiment with all of the turtle's commands. The turtle works in a coordinate system like the Cartesian coordinate system you are probably familiar with from algebra. This image from the book shows the default coordinate system. The turtle begins in the center at coordinate 0, 0 with a heading of 0 degrees, meaning he points in the direction of 0 degrees. When we wrote turtle.forward100, we were telling the turtle to move forward 100 pixels from its current location in the direction of its current heading. So it drew a line across the screen starting at the center because it started in the center facing right. Once it finishes drawing that line, its state has changed. This is one of two important ideas in programming that you can learn from programming the turtle. The turtle's state was location 0, 0, heading 0, but after we told it to go forward 100 pixels, its location became 100, 0, and its heading didn't change. Now if we tell it turtle.forward100, it won't draw the same line. So the command turtle.forward100 doesn't always have the same effect because it is dependent on the turtle's state. Computer programs have state. When it's a turtle program, that state is the heading and location of the turtle. It's also whether the turtle's pen is up or down. The default is down, which means the turtle is drawing. It includes other fun things too, like pen color. Now the other thing that we can learn from the turtle is flow of control. The default flow of control for a Python program is sequential, meaning statements execute from top to bottom in a file. In other words, in sequence. 
So let's add some more statements and watch them execute sequentially. This list of commands from the book is a good starting point for drawing with the turtle. But you can also go to python.org's page on the turtle module and learn about a lot of additional commands. In this video, we'll work with just the commands in the text. Let's draw something relatively simple, like a box. I'd like my box to be centered on the screen, so suppose I sketch that out. Each of these boxes in my drawing is 40 pixels by 40 pixels. So why don't I start at negative 120x and negative 120y with a heading of 0 and go forward 240 and then turn left 90 degrees so the heading will be 90 and go forward 240 and then go left 90 degrees so the heading will be 180 and go forward 240 and then go left 90 degrees so the heading will be 270 and go forward 240. That should draw a box centered on the screen. I'm going to write the code for that and test it. If I weren't certain about any of these commands, I might just write a little bit of the program and test it before I write more. That way I don't get in too deep only to find I had a mistake way back at the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to create a new file and call it box. Now I'm going to write import turtle at the top. And what I want to do is start over at negative 120, negative 120. To do that, I'm going to write turtle dot pen up open paren close paren so the turtle doesn't draw while I move it. And then I'm going to write turtle dot set pause and put the coordinates after that in parentheses. Now I'm going to write turtle dot pen down because I want to start drawing. And then I have a series of forward and left commands. Turtle dot forward 240, turtle dot left 90, each on its own line. Now I save and run that. And the turtle draws the box I planned out. This drawing is dependent on state and sequential flow of control. If I mix up the commands, let me sort of randomize the order of commands, save and run. Then I get a completely different drawing from the one I planned, because Python will still execute sequentially from top to bottom in the file, and because each command works with the turtle's current state. So if the state is the pen is up, no drawing will take place. If the state is the turtle is at 100, 100, and the command is forward, then the line begins at 100, 100. Practice drawing with the turtle. There's so much you can draw. Try planning your drawing out on graph paper, as I did, and then write the commands. 
There are some suggestions for drawings to try in the Try This section. You can also practice with commands from python.org's Turtle module page. Once the important concepts of flow of control and state make sense and you can successfully plan and draw a Turtle Graphics drawing, you're ready to move on.